Hello everybody, it's Crafty Rhea again, and I'm here to turn some trash into treasure. I think I'm going to name this series Trash to Treasure. I was going through my closet today looking for some shampoo, and um, I have tons of samples and stuff. You just would not even believe my closet if you saw it. Um, I must have a million samples of shampoo. And... Um, Anyway, I came across some stuff. I looked in my, I get the Walmart subscription box, which has beauty products in it, and it's really nice because it's only $5, and sometimes you get full-size items, and they end up obviously being worth more than $5, so it's a great um, box. But anyway, they sent me this in one of my past boxes, maybe from six months ago or so. I don't remember exactly when. And um, it's just this little card that comes in the box. And the box came with this paper inside as well, which obviously matches the card. And I thought that's really a nice saying, embrace your beauty. So, and I send a lot of thank you cards to my Jamberry ladies, so I want them all to embrace their beauty. So I thought this would be a great card to send to someone once I make it. And then another thing I found was in Birchbox, you always get this card that tells you about the products that you get. And on the back of it, it says, or front of it, depends on what how you look at it, um, it says, find your happy. And I think more of us really do need to find our happy. And um, so I thought I could make a card out of that as well. So normally these are things people would throw in the trash, but of course not me. I'm Crafty Rhea, and I can't throw anything away. So, But I'm going to make them into something new. So I dug through my stash, and I picked out some scrap paper. So this is all stuff from my stash. I didn't cut a, you know, no big sheets of paper were harmed in the making of these cards. <laughs> and then on some scraps of white cardstock for matting. I also have this. I don't think it goes with anything, but it happens to be sitting here. Two card bases. This is just white cardstock. I buy this at Walmart or any in any you know office supply store. It is one eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper. I score it down the middle at four and a quarter, and I cut it in a half in half at five and a half. And it makes the perfect, normal, regular A2 size card base. And um, I have these ribbons. And I'm going to tell you a little something special about these two ribbons. These are from Cloud9 Designs. I have another set of these. And I said before I'm giving away, I'm doing a giveaway once I hit 100 subscribers. And I think I'm going to include one of each of these ribbons in that giveaway. So um, please subscribe if you haven't already and share my videos with your friends. Anybody you think that might enjoy them. Um, I'd love to have them and that'll get us closer to 100 subscribers so I can start giving some stuff away. All right. And... Then I also went through my stash and pulled out some ribbons that I had. This is some seam binding. That's a scrap of ribbon. And then some of this lace. I believe it's also seam binding. But I think it's really pretty to use on cards and it's nice and flat. So I'm not sure what I'm going to really do yet. I haven't made up my mind. I just pulled some stuff that matches and you're going to make it here with me together. I also pulled down some green flowers, some purple flowers, and these orange flowers. I don't know how, how long I've had these in my stash. I don't even think that this company is still around. I have no idea. I should Google it and see. They were $2.75, but I, I didn't buy them. I think I got them in a swap or something like that. So there we go. I'll move those up out of the way. Sorry if my hair got in that video. All right, so here we go. I think I'm gonna start with this one first since I already have the background paper. So my card base is four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm gonna score it down really good so it lays flat. And I wanna see how I wanna put this on here. It's gonna be too wide this way, so I'm gonna to have to trim it in, and I'm gonna to have to trim this bottom part off. I think I'll put a ribbon over this part. 
where it says rate and review. But it's too much to put ribbons over, you know, both of those, but I think over that part. All right, so I'm gonna start by cutting this bottom piece off. And it looks like we've got room from top to bottom to play with, so I don't have to cut it too high. I just wanna cut those icons off. And I've got my trusty paper cutter here, my tonic, and I'm just gonna put it in here. I don't, do you hear that? That's my bird. He's absolutely crazy. Okay, so I'm just gonna put it here and line it up to just cut that little piece off. And I think I'm gonna try to keep the rest of it because it's kind of pretty. It reminds me, it's not the right color, but it reminds me of jellyfish. All right, so I have to decide, do I want it like this? Yes, that would leave me a lot of room. And like this, it would not leave me a lot of room and I would have to trim it and then I'd have excess. So I think I'm gonna put it this way. I have to cover up this rate and review part and I have to cut my background. So let me cut my background first. Let's see, this is probably, I try to let the paper do the work. So I'm gonna leave the width alone and I'm gonna cut this here at a tiny bit more than four. So I put it in my paper trimmer because I'm gonna measure this. I'm gonna cut it just on, on like a hefty four inches, just a little bit over that edge. Okay, all you mathematicians are gonna make fun of me for calling it a hefty four, but maybe four and one sixteenth, four and an eighth, I don't know but not quite four and a quarter. And I think I made it a little too hefty. So I'm gonna take off a sliver off of that hefty four, and it would probably just make it back to being four. I'd always rather cut it too big than too little, because if you cut it too little, you can't make it bigger, but you can always make it smaller, just like I did. So I have to decide which way I like it. I don't think it really matters. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna put some goodies over this. Now, I have to see what I have that is wide enough to cover up this rate and review. I think that's gonna be wide enough to cover it up and it matches pretty good, I think. And then I'm going to decorate that as well. I'm not going to leave it just the plain green. I'm going to get my fabric scissors. I always just use these scissors for fabric. They stay nice and sharp. I find my paper scissors do not stay sharp enough to cut fabric really good. They're very sharp for paper, but not for fabric. And that's my cutter bees, and I can't even find them. Oh, I see them. They're hidden under the ribbon. All right, so I'm going to put a piece of this trusty, dusty tape on. To hold it down nice and good. And then... On the back, I think I've showed you before, I always run tape on part of the paper all the way to the end of the ribbon, just so we get a double thickness. And it's okay if there's extra. It This tape just comes right off so easy. It just, you can just run your finger over it and it just, comes right off. You don't need a, an eraser for it. Okay, so I have that, and it's actually okay that there's extra adhesive on the back because I'm going to stick it down to the page. I was looking at this. I have two choices with this. I have this one. I'm going to go ahead and open it because if I open it, I'm more apt to use it. If I don't open it, I will never use it. 
I don't know. I don't think that's really the right color. It looks really pretty, but I don't think it's the right color. This one, I think, is. This purple. This is fabric strips or fabric ribbon. I like that because it has the green and everything in there. It's really pretty. And it's already sticky, so it's a little easier than working with just ribbon. And oh wow, look at that. Okay, so it makes a perfect little border on the back. I just have to straighten it up over here. Actually, I have to straighten up my bottom piece of ribbon because it's a little crooked. But this paper is shiny, so it the adhesive comes off pretty easily. There, that's a little straighter. Normally, I don't worry about things that are a little crooked, but in this case, it makes a difference. And it's kind of hard for me to see it from the angle that I'm sitting at here. But that just gives a little bit of a um, green edge to that ribbon so it doesn't get lost on the purple background. It gives a little green border, which I kind of like. I hope you like it too. There. That's really pretty. So I have that. I'm going to go ahead and adhere this down. This is very, very thin paper. So I'm going to be really careful and hold it down here as I pull the adhesive away. So the paper doesn't wrinkle or crumple. And then I'm going to lay it down on my paper. I line up the bottom left and the top right corner there. And that gives me a nice flat sheet of paper, nice and evenly matted. So then I have that. So then I need a flower for it and I need something for the sides. And you all know what I'm probably going to do for the sides. Let me try something other than what y'all think I'm going to do for the sides. Nope. Nope. Well, here we go. This is my <laughs> this is my favorite embellishment lately. I ordered a whole bunch more. These sheets of bling, I am addicted to them. I cannot stop using them. I use them on all kinds of projects. They're 67 cents each. I got them on, at AliExpress and I just went on and I reordered all of the colors that I've used a lot of and all of the colors that I did not get. I Like I ordered another green. I didn't think I'd even use the green and I ended up using a ton of this green. All right, so I have the multicolor one and I just kind of want to see how it looks. And that is kind of pretty, that adds, you know, all of those neat colors to it. And I have the solid purple, which I think I'll probably just use the purple because I like it. Because the card doesn't have all of those colors in it. And then the green I think is gonna be too much green. All right, so I'm just going to leave this centered on here just to get an idea of where I want these to go. And they pull off in one strand, which is to me is awesome. It's fun. And I just want to put one, you can probably hear my bird now, just a little bit from the end there. I keep saying one day I'm going to do a video with my craft room door open. His cage is right outside of it. But he might be a little too obnoxious for that. And here's where I use this little leftover piece. And how I 
break them off. I take my fingernail and set it down and just rip because the it, they're really easy to rip. The adhesive comes apart super easy. And I guess I have it a little crooked. Let's see if I can straighten it up. Yeah, it comes off good enough. Good enough. All right. I'm going to kind of eyeball the edge of the paper and see where I want to put it. Uh-oh. Well, I think I'm just going to have to leave it like that because that's stuck on there now. Okay. There's that side. I'm having issues. I don't edit my videos. I want you to see what I go through so that you can know that it's okay to make mistakes and what you can do to fix your mistakes if you make them. All right, and then I'm gonna take another sheet another piece and just eyeball it on this side about the same distance in. You could take a pencil and make a mark and you know but that's if you're a perfectionist. I'm I guess I am a perfectionist but I'm not going to worry about it. <clears throat> After all think of it this way this was going to just go in the trash. I would imagine that everybody else that got this box threw theirs in the trash. I don't think anybody is making cards out of them. There. And it is kind of uneven again. I'm going to see if I can just push this side over a little bit. That looks much straighter now. And then that one is not too bad. Okay. And then I think I'm going to take this and pop it up off the page to give it a little bit of dimension. And I have square ones, but I packed them for craft day. And I don't believe I unpacked them yet. They're somewhere. If they are unpacked, they're on this desk somewhere, and you can't see the rest of my desk, which is good. But the round ones work as well. And I just cut them in half and put them in the corners. And I will put one in the middle for good luck. I just take my little pieces off, my backing. All right. And we'll put this right on here. There we go. And then I'll put a flower here. Let me see if I have a purple flower that will match or look good. I think I found a winner. I think I'll go with that one right there because it's got a little bit of green and it's not solid purple. So, there we go. These are great little containers for my flowers. I have them in rainbow format up against the, or up on my shelf. And I have hiding somewhere.
take a little sticky dot. I keep hitting the camera with my head. I apologize. I need to work on a better camera angle next time. There, put that down. I really like the way that these hold down the flowers nice and flat and you don't have to wait for wet glue to dry. Then I have these, which I think I will go ahead and use this light green one. I got these at the Dollar Tree. They're kind of holographic and that kind of matches the center but adds a little bling. So there we go. And I made it upside down. Hmm. See? It's a good thing you're watching my video. Now you know what to do when you make your card upside down. You just take it off carefully and you turn it right the right the right way, right side up. I can leave that middle one on because it's going to be there. Okay, so it opens this way. I'm going to put it on this way. All right, there you go. Now, that one's done. And only you and I will know I did it backwards. Okay, so we have that. Now I have the other one to do. I have bling everywhere. Okay. So this one I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with yet. I do know I need to trim this. I need to trim the top and the bottom to make it fit. And what I sometimes do to see how it's going to look behind something, I will take this put it in front of it and just hold it up to a light and then you can see through it and see kind of how it's going to line up. But meanwhile I will cut off this top and that bottom because I don't want those words there and I put it in my paper trimmer. And take a slice and then all right so you find the happy And then I need to trim it in to each side, obviously, because it's too long. So I'm going to trim some off of each side just to make it look kind of even. There. And this side has too much stuff on it. So let me move it over, trim off a little bit more from that side. There we go. So we have Find Your Happy. And then I have this paper that I thought would be really pretty to mat on this. So this paper here is already four inches wide, so I need to trim it to um, five and a quarter. There we go. And that makes a perfect mat. That looks really good. So now I just have to decide what I want to do with this. I think I might want to make it smaller this way so it has a little more on the sides. So I can easily trim off a little bit on each side. Maybe a little more on this side. Okay. So there we go. Find your happy. 
but it needs to pop off of this. So that's why I thought this white mat would be good. And I just want to mat just a very little bit, like that much. So I'm going to glue it down, tape it down. You can use whatever you like, whatever kind of adhesive you like, a glue stick or wet glue, like some art glitter glue. I like the tape. I also use art glitter glue at times. Just depends on my mood. I'm more familiar with the tape. The art glitter glue is kind of new for me. So then when I trim this, I just carefully line up. I look on here to see how much of a mat it's going to leave. And I just eyeball it to have it be with the rest of it. There we go. All right. So I have that. Find your happy. I think that's kind of pretty. Now I have some of this ribbon. I thought I could do something maybe behind it or underneath it. Well, you know, and I also have this, but I think. I'm thinking, no, I don't know. I think I kind of like that. I think I wanted that top part there because those flowers on the top of the bicycle will show. And then I can keep this that way a little bit. And I don't know if I'll use ribbon. I kind of like to have ribbon. What if I did ribbon there? Yeah. Just have a little bit of ribbon underneath. I don't think there'll be room on here for a flower. I'm not sure. I don't think those flowers really match. So I'm probably not going to do a flower. But I have that ribbon that I could do there. It wouldn't show very much. I think it would cover up too much of the bicycles that way. Hmm. I don't have any other really big ribbon that matches this, any wide ribbon. But this ribbon goes really good with it. All right, I'm going to try to start gluing some of this down and see what I can come up with with that ribbon. I think I need something to jazz it up a little bit. Okay. So I've got this. And you know, I'm gonna make sure I've got it opening the right way. I learned my mistake. And then I'm gonna put this down here. And to even up the top edge, I lay this flat on the table, and then this flat on the table. Put it where I want it, and there. That way that edge up here is even. And then I can cut this bottom edge off by lining it up in my trimmer. And I line this paper right up to the edge, and then just slice it. There we go. Easy peasy.
And I think what I might do, I might try this ribbon down here. I don't like that. I might just do it in the middle. Or maybe more than one piece in the middle. Let me see. I don't like that either. Let's see. I have something that just struck my eye. Where'd it go? I just saw it. Aha. Uh -huh. I have this white lace. All right, I think I found what I'm going to do. All right, so I'm going to cut that like that. I'm going to put a lot of tape on this, and I'm running it all the way to the end because I'm going to cut it off flush with the end. I'm not folding it back on anything. So I'm gonna fold it up because I want a lot of glue or tape right on that very edge. And I'm gonna take this lace, or whatever it's called. I call it lace, because it's kind of a lacy look. And then I'm just gonna cut it off with the end. It doesn't seem to want to fray, so that is good. If it did fray, you can put a little bit of white glue on the end, unless you have fray check or something like that. Then I have this, but I don't want to run my glue on it, so I'm going to put this down like that. You know, I never realized there'd be so much stress with working on the video, because if I do this myself and I make a mistake, I can't get the tape off my hand, um, then nobody knows. Now when I'm on the video, everybody can see me make mistakes. I don't know if you can hear the bird, but he wants to know where your ball is. So if anybody knows where the ball is, please let us know. He's been wanting to find that ball for months now. And yes, he is crazy. There we go. That. like that up on a little bit of dimension. There we go. You hear doors opening and shut. My husband's taken the dog out. Jonah has him wrapped around his little paw. If Jonah looks at him, he thinks he needs to take him outside. Little does he know that Jonah goes almost all day with me home. I work from home without having to go out. All right, then I'm going to go ahead and put this kind of down on this side like that. There we go. So then we have two cards done. We have Find Your Happy and Embrace Your Beauty. All right. 
there you go. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe and let your friends know about the channel because once I reach 100 subscribers, I'll do a giveaway. You guys take care. Thank you so much for watching and turn your trash into treasure.